All right, guys, so here's a question that a lot of you have been asking me, and I'm gonna to try to clarify this. People have been asking how you level the ridge. Once you set your rafters, your ridge is level. Now to figure out where to put the supports, like right there, well then you've gotta do a little bit of math. This garage is 14 feet wide and has a four pitch for the angle of the roof. So each rafter is gonna cover seven feet. Seven times four is 28. So that is your rough measurement on how high your ridge is. Well, the way I lay them out, that measurement actually gives me from the bottom of the board to the bottom of the board. And you can see I got a bird's mouth. So that lowers it about two inches and then you always have dimension one size bigger than your rafter. So I have a two by six rafter, I have a two by eight ridge. So that brings it down another, down another two inches or so. Rule of thumb is to take four inches out of the height. So 28 inches tall. So I go 24 inches and that's where I put my brace. You can kind of see that it's about an inch and a half taller than that. So you just got to do a little bit of math to figure out where you want to put the braces to hold your ridge temporarily and you always want to make sure you're a little lower because you can always lift everything up you can't really push it back down when it's sitting on stuff that's screwed and nailed so hopefully that answers some of the questions as to how you level the ridge i assume you're meaning temporarily because you don't need to level the ridge once it's sitting on the rafters all right it's getting a little cold getting a little wet Get ready to pack up, but I want to show one more thing here. Um, OSB going all the way around the header. See how that is there? Now some people say that this needs to be what they call a strong wall. And it's supposed to have a bunch of bracing, like metal bracing and stuff. I've never dealt with that. Here in the Midwest, we don't have to worry about that because that's more of a seismic thing. But what I do like to do is make sure that you have one big panel of OSB that spans all the way over so all of this is tied in with one sheet. I don't like... Some people will go straight up there with a seam. I don't like that because it kind of allows it to hinge. Now it's small, it's a gable wall. It's not that big a deal. Um, but if you want to look into that, if you're in a spot where there's like seismic issues, I think they call them strong walls. But this is only a nine foot header, nine foot opening on a 14 foot gable wall. So it doesn't take much to hold everything together. But that's another quick tip I wanted to put that make sure, make sure you don't hinge your OSB and you put one big panel on there. Other than that, let's see, I got a door in, got a window in. Um, I've just got to get my OSB up top and pull bracing and I'll be out of here tomorrow. And tomorrow is Friday. So uh, early out on a Friday, can't ever complain about that. It'll be good and because weather's coming in this weekend and <laughs> who knows who knows if I'm gonna want to drag my butt out of bed and go to work after that so hey you stuck around you found the secret bonus footage so those were the two things that I was able to get video of on the garage that I had built I had video of some other tips and tricks but my microphone quit working of course I didn't realize that until I was getting ready to put the video together on my computer Live and learn. Uh, we'll address those things on the next garage, hopefully. So at least I did get the footage about leveling in the ridge. I hope that addressed it. I've been asked that a few times. I'm not quite sure what leveling the ridge means. So I hope that took care of that. And the strong wall thing was brought to my attention through a Facebook group that I'm part of. I had never even heard of that before. It's a seismic thing. I assume that's more West Coast stuff. It's not even addressed in the code book here where I'm at. So take that for what it's worth. Uh, that was just my opinion as to how you should sheathe a wall around a header.
So hopefully that addressed the issue of leveling the ridge. If you want to know how to lay out and cut a rafter, check out this video right here. And be sure to check out the next video that's coming out, which should be why you need a Stabila 10-foot level when you're framing. I went years without one of these, and I was stupid. This thing's fantastic. All right, see you guys there.